Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Marcus and today I will show you how you can combine Microsoft Excel sheets in Power Automate. This was a request by one of my followers, so let's get started. For this example, we just pretend we have a toy company and uh, we have different sales per month and we want to all combine these Excel sheets in one uh, total sales Excel sheet. First, I will create a new Excel sheet. And I will call this total sales. And we'll create a table. Year, month, product, and sales. Then I'll click in the menu up here, at insert, table, then my table has headers and on OK. And when I go here in the menu to table design, I can also name this table. I will also name this total sales. That's it. Basically, we can close this. So let's just refresh it. Yeah, it's total sales here. And then I will create a new Excel workbook that name will be monthly sales. We have the same structure here, month products and sales. Insert table. My table has headers and in the table design, we'll call this table monthly sales. Then I will create two folders, an uploads folder and a done folder. So basically the sales department will then upload new monthly sales workbooks into the uploads folder. The Power Automate workflow should automatically take those and put them into the month uh, into the total sales workbook. And when that's done, it will copy the no, it will move the monthly sales into done. Then let's get to Power Automate. And we'll create a new flow. It will be an automated cloud flow. And we'll, cho we'll choose the trigger when a file is created in a folder. And create this. I will rename the flow. Uh, let's see, what kind of name should we do? Add monthly sales to total sales Excel sheet. Perfect. Let's get started. First, we'll need a site address and a folder. In this case, it's our toy company and it will be the uploads folder. Then we'll create a new step. We'll choose Excel Online Business. And we'll get list rows present in a table. Then we'll need the location. This will be the same from above. So, so this will be your site. You will need the document library our toy company and then we'll need the file here you'll need the file id or the file identifier you can choose that here and then you'll need the table so now that it's a dynamic uh, input it cannot really check the table and uh, the monthly 
sales table will always be monthly, should always be monthly sales. That's why it's very important that all your Excel files will have or should have the same structure. Otherwise, this will not really work. We'll use monthly sales as custom value. And uh, then I will create a new step. In this case, it will be from the control actions and then apply to each function or apply to each action. The value will be that array that will go through. Then I will add an action again. Again from Excel Online Business. And now I want to add a row into a table. The location is again the site where your library is located. Your document library. That's the toy company and the file. Now the target file will be always the same. It will be our total sales file. So I check the total sales and the table will always be the total sales table. Now it asks me for year month product sales, which value goes into which column. I will use the expression and insert item. In that case, these will always be the column names from the column. So that's why it's also practical if you use the same structure from your monthly sales and your total sales. Uh, it, it's just easier to, to combine. So I just copy this. month okay and here we have the product and then we have sales and then when this was successful i want to have a new step that moves the file so I'll go here to standard, then I'll click on SharePoint. I want to move a file. It's again the current site address. The file, we need again the file identifier to move. That is again here the file identifier. And a destination site address, in this case, it's the same. And a destination folder, we can just select this one. This will be the toy company and the done folder. If another file already exists, move with a new name or replace, we'll just call now, or we just choose replace now. And I will save this. So now we go back to the library. I'll use the monthly sales file. I'll open it. I'll put in here some data. Let's say we sold some dolls, 2000 pieces. Then we sold some puzzles, 1000 pieces. Um, then we saw RC cars, 500 pieces. And now I'll choose save, save as. I'll just save this here and upload, save here. So I've created now this new file in the uploads folder. And now the Power Automate flow will check every few minutes if there is a new file in here. And if 
there is a new file, then it will execute the, the Power Automate flow and then add this to the total sales. It can take up to five to 10 minutes that the Power Automate flow really uh, registers that there is a new file in there. So you have to wait. We'll just speed up the video here and uh, go on. So I've waited now five minutes until it actually started. It failed. Let's see why. Okay, that worked, that worked. Apply to each also worked. Very good. And then the move file failed. Let's see. Uh, cannot be moved because it's in locked mode. Uh, okay, maybe it, there was still access to it from the apply to each, so there was not enough time uh, that the moving action could actually access the file. You can modify this with a time delay, but let's see if the other things are have worked. Let's go back to our library. Let's go to the total sales. And uh, yeah, okay, except the product. Product didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because I named it products. That was the mistake. So I need to change this to product. I will simply Delete those, delete rows. I will delete it here from the uploads folder. Yes, delete it anyway. And I will save again here. Save as to uploads. That's monthly sales August. Save. And now we'll have to wait another five minutes. So another five minutes have passed and it was failed again. Again, because of the move file, but the rest seem to have worked. Let's go back and check the total sales. Yes, now it added here the total sales. So let's just test this again. Let's say this is for September. Um, and what do we sell in September? We sold skateboards, uh, video games, 3,000 skateboards, 750 video games, and uh, what else? Let's say basketball, 250. Five, save as, again, we'll save it into the uploads or September save. And let's wait another five minutes. And another five minutes have passed. Let's check the total sales. Oh yeah, here it already says we have some changes. And yes, skateboards. Video games, basketballs have been added for September. So that's basically how you add multiple Excel sheets into one. Um, you really have to be careful with your structure and how you name your columns so it works. And um, if many people are working on these documents, you have to be careful maybe to limit their access that they cannot change column names. Then this then your Power Automate flow will probably not work anymore as expected. So these are the downsides. Um, but other than that, that's how it works. I hope I could help you. Uh, thank you for watching and I wish you a great day.